Hello people of God. Praise God. My name is Angela Ndagire from Holy Cross Family Ministries. I am here to talk about our prayer life, to talk about the hindrances. I know many of us we pray, uh, but sometimes our prayers are not answered. That's what we think that our prayers are not answered. But there are some things that we need to work on as prayer from people in order for our prayers to reach to the Lord. Uh, the first one is faith. So as we are conducting our prayers, what we need to know is that we are talking to a powerful God. We are talking to the creator of heaven and earth. We are talking to someone who is there for each and every one. So as we are praying, we need to have faith that whatever that we are going to pray to the Lord, He's going to give it to us. Uh, sometimes we complain that the Lord has taken long, but all we need to know is that the Lord does things in His own way. So we need to have faith as we are praying. The second one is unforgiveness. Sometimes we conduct prayers, sometimes we have our prayers in our families. We pray and we see that the Lord is not answering our prayers. Yet there are some people that um, we have not forgiven. We carry our baggages and we go to the Lord asking for forgiveness. Yet we, are, we ourselves still have those people that we have not forgiven. So whenever we conduct our prayers, we have to go to the Lord when our hearts are empty so that it can be able to answer our prayers. The two greatest commandments, one states that we have to love one another. So before we conduct our prayers, let us reconcile with the people that hurt us. Let us forgive those that have done wrong to us in order for our prayers to reach to the Lord. Another hindrance is sins against love. Yeah. It is combined with unforgiveness. We don't love people. You go like when you are in families. So we need to love the people that we are living with before we love God more. So as we are conducting our prayers, as we are conducting our family prayers, let us think about loving one another, especially in our families. Another hindrance is pride 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 sometimes when we get money when we get like materialistic things we tend to forget about God sometimes we are reluctant with our prayer life we grant to God when we have issues how will God love you when you have already distanced yourself away from him let us always love God. Let us put pride aside. When it's time for prayers, let us have those prayers. Let us conduct them wholeheartedly without force or without saying, let me go and have these prayers just for just because right now I'm okay. We have seen very many people who had these materialistic things, but right now they don't have it. So if it's time for prayers, if we are having our prayers, let us put pride aside. Another hindrance is laziness. Sometimes we work. I know we are all looking for money. We are looking for necessities to sustain our families, sustain our homes. Sometimes we come back very late and we don't have time for prayers. Uh, some of us wake up very early in the morning. We don't have our prayers because you have to rush to go to work. Someone promised to give you money and we forget about God. My brothers and sisters, let prayer be our first priority. Start with prayer and end with prayer. Even if you have your prayers for like five minutes, those five minutes are really worthy before the Lord. Let us not be lazy. Let us run to God. Let us get closer to God. Let us build that bond between us and God. 
Another hindrance is being in a noisy place as you are conducting your prayers. Sometimes as we are at home, I know most of us have time for family prayer or have personal time for your prayers. Uh, as you are at home, you are in your room conducting your prayers and here comes your favorite song. Hmm? You're there praying your Hail Marys and a song comes. Or someone is, has tuned in your favorite song. You're praying Hail Mary as you're singing your favorite song. Oh, Susanna, how can you serve two masters at a go? As we are praying, our whole being has to be to the Lord. Our heart has to be there. Our mind has to be there. Our spirit has to be to the Lord. So as we are praying, we have to be in a very quiet place. Someone might challenge me and say, how about when I'm traveling in a taxi or in Matatu, as I'm going to work and I get my rosary? Yes, some of us can do that, but there are some people who cannot do that. There are some people who cannot concentrate. So as we are praying, let our minds, let our hearts be to the Lord so that our prayers can be worthy before the Lord. May God bless you as you're praying at your homes, as you're helping your children, as you're helping your family members. Love Mother Mary, love the Lord, and love their Catholic Church. Thank you so much.